And that's the biggest struggle right now because that's when you realize, man, this guy is really athletic, but uh oh, his feet may be a little too slow. He may be a little top heavy. He can't handle a D line stunt. He can't handle an edge rusher with a safety or a backer, right? He can't pass off quick enough because he has never been taught to process that mm -hmm. and how it's based should be how his blocking angle should be and all of these things go into o-line play so you look at a guy and they say man this is a top five pick what why is he struggling there's a lot more than just being six foot eight 330 pounds and can jump a 37 inch vertical there's way more that goes into it for the o-line and oh by the way the guy you're going against he doesn't care about all that he knows right. exactly what he needs to do, and right. he's going to go and rush, and he's going to do what he has to do. So I see the offensive line play, frankly, uh, uh, being cyclical in the sense that you're going to start to see, and I'm sure the, the, the NFL coaches are talking to college coaches and saying, hey, you got these tremendous, talented offensive linemen players. We need you to do a little bit more. We need you to, you know, develop them more because that's part of your job as a coach. You're supposed to develop these players when they get there and you want them ready for the next level.